So I was looking through the internet and I realized I couldn't find a decent LLDB tutorial. So I asked some friends and now I know enough to use the program. And I just want to give a quick recap on how it works for anyone in a similar situation. Uh, this isn't going to go into the deep depths of LLDB because just like everything else, uh, you can keep learning this for years and you'll never master it uh, just because there's so much information. But there's about five to seven commands, uh, I've got them listed right here, that if you know them, you'll be able to use LDB. Um, I'm going to go through them real quick, say a little bit of what they do, and then give you an example of how they can be used. Uh, so there's GCC-G that compiles with a flag that includes debugging information. Um, there's LDB on whatever your executable name is, goes here. This runs LDB on that executable. Then you put a breakpoint at any interesting function. Uh, so any function that you know the problem is in that function, you just don't know why it's messing up, then you would put B and then that function's name. Uh, then you would run through the program with the command run. You can move through the program with N, uh, standing for next, and that'll move you to the next line, which will make more sense in a second. Uh, if you just want to repeat the last command, it'll happen a lot with next, then you can just hit enter after you hit next. So if you've typed next and then entered it in, then you can hit enter again and automatically know that that's next that you want to do. Um, don't learn the GUI, it's really confusing. You can look at individual variables with print and then the variable's name. Uh, or you can print all of the variables with FRV, which stands for frame the variables. Uh, once you've uh, debugged or any time that you want to leave LDB, you just type exit and then enter, and you'll go back to your terminal uh, exactly where you started. So uh, let's see what we have. So there's LDB.C. That's just a program that I made. It adds two numbers. Actually, I found it. I didn't even make it. Uh, so let's compile that. I'm not going to debug. Just LDB C. Now close that we got out. So we'll run that. And now four and five. Four plus five is twenty, is what it's telling me. We know that that's wrong. It should be nine. So let's see what's going wrong with LDB. So GCC dash G, as I said earlier. I didn't put an input, obviously. Uh, now we can run LDB on readout out, set our breakpoint at main, then we can hit run, and now what it's going to do is it's going to enter the program, and this is what the program is, it's here's where the variables are declared, uh, here's printf enter two integers, that thing that we saw earlier, uh, and then here's some pseudocode, uh, so this is really exactly what's written in the function gets printed to your screen here. Uh, and then it's going to scan F for two, um, two, those aren't integers. I don't actually know what that, yeah, no, two integers. So uh, we can expect that that's gonna be the next thing that happens. So if we hit N, automatically goes to that scan F function that we saw below earlier. And now we can just hit enter because it already knows that we hit N. So it knows what we wanna do next. Uh, it's going to ask me for two integers. Let's use something different, three and two this time. And now it's set these two functions equal to what we inputted. And we can actually see that that's done by printing one, the variable named one. Uh, we announced it up here, and then we set it with that scanf right there. Uh, so when I hit print one, it outputs three, because that's what I set right here. Now I can hit N again, uh, and hit N. Oh, no, I actually want to print sum. And now we can see that the sum is six, uh, and that the issue is this line right here that it's not adding the two numbers. If it were adding three and two, it would get five, but it's getting six, and that's because of this multiplication right here. That needs to be an addition, uh, and that's the end of this very lame example. Um, 
So I just want to show that you can do FRV, and that'll print out all the variables that are declared. So 3N, 2N, 6. And uh, essentially, the way to debug with LEDB is to go through, or the way that I've found to be possible, is to go through each line, and each line check what the variables are, and then see where they change to something that you don't want them to be. And that's really the basics of it. That's all you need to get started. Um, finally, to exit, you just hit exit. Uh, yes. And now we can come up here to our function. Uh, this is a very easy function, so of course I could have just looked up here and typed plus. Uh, but again, it's an example. Um, so now we've saved that, and then we can PCC our LLDB.C. Uh, five and six, and now it'll give us 11, which is the correct answer. So again, basic little introduction to LDB. Anything that you want to learn more about, uh, watch other videos. They have plenty of documentation on it. It's just not very user-friendly. So I hope that this helped uh, get you started on LDB and so that you can start using this for your projects.